All right, so really quickly, I figured I'd show you what I just had to go through to try to get this thing to work. And no, that's not what it's supposed to look like. I'm gonna show you in a second. So I went to my local store. The only store that's near me is Best Buy and they only had this mount, okay? Because this thing's so giant, they don't just sell a clip to hold it on top, it weighs too much. So they sold me this giant mount that's supposed, licensed by Xbox 360, is supposed to fit all TVs, right? Well, take a fucking guess whose TV this doesn't fit on. Mine, of course. What's supposed to happen is, on the back of the TV, this thing has two legs, and the legs are supposed to line up with your screw holes. Well, guess what? My TV has screw holes way low down at the bottom, the legs were too short to reach, and the ones up top, okay, are too high, and the, the legs don't split wide enough. Basically, if this leg went straight this way and this leg went straight that way, it would fit. As you can see, what's supposed to happen is this thing is supposed to be sitting over the front of the TV. Well, guess what? First of all, this mount costs $40. I shit you not. I just spent $40 fucking dollars on a mount that doesn't fit my TV. So what did I have to do to make shift get this to work? Take a look at what I did. What was happening was, since obviously these are flimsy ass legs made of fucking plastic, they're not steel or anything that would actually be worth $40, they fucking buckle and bend and wobble, so the entire thing, because it's not leaning on top of the TV like it's supposed to, since this doesn't fit my TV, was slanting forward over the TV. So what did I do? I took two fucking DVD cases and jammed them in there, and then I took a piece of cardboard from the packaging for this stand and jammed that in there too, and now you'll be able to see... Now, the arms are fairly straight. As you can see, it is bent a little bit, but that's fine. Because it is plastic, it's, now it's actually there. But the, my issue now is, watch when I play, the thing's going to be going like this the whole time, and I don't know if that's going to be affecting my gameplay or not. So, congratulations, Microsoft. <laughs> you failed right from the fucking get-go. Because look, here's how my stereo system is, okay? Here's my TV, and right in front of it is my center speaker because I have surround sound. I already have my Wii sensor there, but take a look. Look at how big that area, how small of an area that is. That's not big enough for the sensor to fit. If I put the sensor here, for connect, it's going to block my TV. So I can't put the sensor in front of the TV. For PS Move, it was no problem. It was a tiny little camera that I was able to put right here, and it had no issues whatsoever once I bought the $10 clip. For Microsoft, I have to buy a $40 fucking dollar mount that doesn't fit my TV even though it's supposed to and look at how bullshit I have to do to make this work. It's so fucking bootleg. So it is what it is. So far I've now spent hours trying to get this thing working and I've played one game of Connect Adventures and then the camera crashed off my TV. So all right, I'm going to try to get this to work with this mount, which is hilarious. It looks like my TV's a fucking Frankenstein now. It's got DVD cases sticking out the fucking top. And who knows if this is a fire hazard or not, because that's basically blocking the vents on the top of my TV. But there's nothing I can do, or else I just can't use the Kinect, period. So, all right, this fucking piece of shit, uh, I definitely recommend if you're going to buy it, you see if it's going to fit your TV. This is the only mount that they have. They basically said this is all that that was sold to us because little clips don't work with the Kinect because it's too heavy. It falls right off the top of your TV. You need to have a mount like this. But it doesn't help when you pay $40 and the mount's made of flimsy fucking plastic that wobbles and bends. That's the problem. So if they actually made it of steel or metal, you'd have zero problems. This thing would work immediately and you'd be, you'd be good to go. But unfortunately, assholes are assholes and they want to fucking rip you off. So performance design products, you can suck my dick and I want my fucking $40 back because your product basically doesn't work and I had to make it work myself by adding my own elements. So fuck you. But anyway, oh, I'm going to calm down. I'm going to have a quick drink. And then I'm going to try to get this to work again, and we're going to see if we can get, get this game going. So, this is what's taking so long, and I apologize, but this has not been easy. All right.